when I saw this thing sitting up on the top of the boxes in this locker, I had a feeling it might be something special. And when I opened it and looked inside and saw it, I knew it was something special. But guys, you're not gonna believe how much this thing is. Crazy. I just looked it up on eBay. Previously on Locker Nuts, I purchased a huge unit for $800 to find out why the items were all stacked on the left side. The unit has produced some exciting and valuable items, such as Disney Lennox collectibles, a Hope Chest time capsule, and a rare trumpet. Some time has gone by, and now it's time to clean out the second half of this locker. All right, what's up? It's Sunday. I'm back at this unit. I think it's been two and a half weeks since I've been here. <laughs> uh, and I'm kind of happy to say that in my head, I was thinking there was more stuff. When I pulled the door up, I was like, all right, we got this. We got this. Well, we got this too. But if you see outside here, um, it's actually been raining. We've been having unseasonably wet weather lately is a big deal yesterday was saturday i know a lot of people had their weddings planned they had to call those off this is late may this is typically like safe for big events the big college by us cal state east bay had to cancel their graduation ceremonies it's a big deal it was in the news they did it last minute because it was raining yesterday so it's supposed to be raining today actually it's supposed to be thunder lightning and maybe even a little bit hail this is kind of crazy crazy i'm not complaining i know other parts of the united states are getting it much worse than we are but us in california we're a little bit spoiled we're not used to this kind of thing especially not in late may so um i'm gonna load this i'm gonna have to deal with tarps and who knows what else once it starts raining today and it is supposed to start raining right now i'm lucky it's uh there's a little bit of a break so i'm gonna get to it Let's see what we got, but hey, this is not as bad as I remembered it. I can do this. All right, we got a big wardrobe box on the truck there. I'm peeking inside. All I see is clothes. Uh, we're going to bring that to the flea market, but it is important that I, I'm careful with that when I'm taking it out at the flea market because in the same unit is where I found that nice trumpet. Uh, that was a two, well, I got it listed for 275 bucks, but if it was one model different, that Martin trumpet, it would have been a, maybe upwards of a $3,000 trumpet. Uh, so I got to be careful with those, but also more importantly, if you watched our live video recently, um, we had a couple safes, and one of them it wasn't really a safe, it was more a lockbox, that little lockbox. That was found in the bottom, not of a wardrobe box, but of a big duffel bag with cl all clothes, all clothes. I mean, you pick it up, you feel it, you think it's all clothes. Taken out of the flea market, got to the bottom, that was sitting right on the bottom. Um, and that's why we really have to be careful with stuff if we haven't gone through it when we're going through it at the flea market because uh, we get busy, we get overwhelmed, people come, people will take that kind of stuff and uh, we'll never know what was in it. And of course, if you watch the video, that's what we found like the $3,600 $3, in cash and there's coins too. That was the greatest find uh, that I've experienced thus far. Got something here wrapped up in a blanket. Oh, bummer. Let me get you in here. It's a statue. Look at that, what a shame. The statue has been in this box, protected, but that piece right there is busted off. Oh, it's busted off. Hmm. I was just checking to see if maybe there's some money in there. That would have been nice. Hey, yeah. Unfortunately, that statue's toast. Okay, so here we got a big wardrobe box. I can take a peek inside the handles here, and all I see is uh, clothes on hangers. Let's find out. Folded blankets. Jeez. 99 bucks. It's leather, a leather vest. Merrells, those are nice. They're in pretty good shape, too. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, if you can see in there, it's just a lot of clothes. A lot of clothes. Alright, got a couple more boxes here. Mm. That's not good. Stuffed animals. Oh, hang on a second. Look at the wiener dog right here. That is actually pretty cool. This is Kern right here. I don't know if that's a collectible piece or what, but it's pretty nice. It's heavy. Let's be a little more careful with this. Oh boy, 
they sure like this kind of stuff. Fairies and fancy stuff. A potpourri dish. Um, it does smell pretty good in here. To be honest, it smells pretty good. Hmm. It's a candle holder. It's like a crystal or something. That's cool. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, I got another one of these. That's pretty cool. Twenty-five dollars originally. If you can see that. But nice little picture frame. Those are stamps of China. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. All right. Stamps. I have to put that aside. Look into that a little bit later. Not right now. Huh. A couple of spoons that appear to be silver or silver plated. That could be good fun. Can you see that? All right, grab my glasses. I had to take my jacket off. The sun is out. Look at that. Sun is shining. It's beautiful. It's actually starting to warm up too. So these two pieces Premium Sterling by Onita. If you can make that out right there. I don't know. Uh, and this piece as well. Sterling. Right here. Heirloom Sterling by Onita. They're both the same maker and they do match. I think those are Solid silver? I think that's solid silver. Of course, I'll look it up, but I don't think they're plated. That's a good find. Ooh, just found two more pieces at the bottom of the box. Isn't that funny? This, uh, I hadn't been filming because it's mostly photos. It's actually kind of sad, and there's a college diploma in there, too. So there's just a few, like, books and little pictures and whatever's. It's a photo album, brand new. Uh, nothing, like, really valuable. Except on the bottom was a few pieces of silverware, kind of crazy. It's all clues. That's what they're wrapped up in newspaper. Okay, well that's interesting. It's wrapped like super good. Seashell. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, got some foreign money here. And coins. All right, well, you know what? We're gonna put that aside. Take a closer look in a second. Something else is wrapped up. Extreme water wand. It's like a hose. And it's like a little shell, a tray of shells. It's all saran wrapped up. You know what? Really good news. I just checked because of the sun outside. I just checked the weather. No joke. I checked the weather before I left the house. Came straight here. Thunder, lightning, hail. Now it looks like we may have caught a break. It just says cloudy up until later in the day. And then there's like one hour of 30% rain. But this little thing right here, there's some coins in here, but I think it's all foreign. But you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to save that for later. Ooh, this looks good. This is a Lennox box, I think. Yes. Another Lennox. Hmm. It's already been opened. That's weird. Uh, because it was sealed shut. The Pooh Pantry Mugs. It's been opened. 
This product is fragile. This is right here. <laughs> Do not drop from the top of the storage locker. Those are pretty cool. See that? Linux. So, so far, and actually, you know what? I was thinking about it. It's been three weeks since I've been here, right? I don't know. I gotta look at the calendar. I'll tell you what. I know Wednesday is the 15th, because that was a big event, our live broadcast. I know that yesterday was the 18th, because that was a big event, because my buddy Bill got inducted into the Husky Hall of Fame for our high school. Not many people get that honor. It was a big, big deal. And uh, let's see, the, the garage show is on the 4th, so, uh, so I guess it was two weeks. No, I don't know. I'm not thinking right here. Um, but that's when I, I was thinking I went to the flea market with this load, but no, this this load actually, no, I, that is right. I went to the garage sale with this load, and then I went to the flea market with the leftovers. Because there were a lot of leftovers. The American flag, that's cool, sell that. The fairy book, I'm going to look that up on Amazon. Fairy stuff sells pretty good. Fairies are... Very popular right now. Very, very popular. We sell fairy stuff pretty well. Right. The Secret Sketchbooks of Brian Froud. Looks like some sort of fairy artist or something. I'm gonna also look that up on. And this dark, ooh yeah. This is another Lennox. Mickey's Teacup. Coral. Yeah, I'm not taking that out, but if you can see that. That's pretty nice. It's Mickey Minnie in there. I'll take a closer look later when we get home. I'll take it out. Of course, I'll take it out because we're going to photograph it and list it. But hopefully, that's another high priced one. More excitement. Hmm. What we got here? Ooh. A card and a card. These are not the right gloves for this, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Good stuff. It's a nice little How to Train Your Dragon book. It's got a holographic cover. Seems like it's new. You know what? I'm going to have to change these gloves out. These are terrible. Much better. This is another Lennox piece with Tigger. It looks faded. Maybe that's a maybe that was intended. It's pretty nice. Huh. Gosh. I can't believe that's just in here like that. Let's go put that in the car. Now I'm gonna have to be careful with all this stuff. Oh my goodness, another Lennox piece. Lennox. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. It's a salt and pepper shaker. Oh, it's salt and pepper shaker! Okay. I think we have the box for these. At the, in the garage. I found those before and I put them aside. Notepads. Sealed shut. Got salt. I think those are coasters. There's a mug, you can tell already. Northern exposure. Oh, there's the other one. There's the other one. Huh. <laughs> Got check Oh, what the heck was that? Son of a gun. All right, I got off easy there. I forgot that's like a little trivet right there. Dang. This thing. It's a tile, actually. It's a decorative tile. Ah, it's got a chip on the corner. I'm just going to toss it. I didn't want to break my Linux. Ugh. Right back to it. I wish I had a table right now. I wish I got a table around here somewhere. Okay. It's a little Tigger. 
top to something, probably a teapot or something. Oh, that's actually really nice. That is, that's super cool. Disney Showcase Collection. Huh, it's not numbered, but it says limited edition. That is quite nice, really. Look at that thing. This is a good unit. Just to recap, we paid 800 bucks for this unit. And uh, that was a real gamble. It was a obviously mo professionally moved. The last time I bought one that was professionally moved turned out to be a real dud. You can watch that video on Storage Auction Pirates channel. It's a little... I forget what, the, what are these dogs called. I don't know. They are obviously into them. Uh, because I got down to the wire, I needed to clear this thing out or else I was going to incur hundreds of dollars in rental fees for a whole nother month. So I called up my buddy Mike, asked him to go in on that with me and help me out. And he did. But I thought we had like a $2,000 locker. It turned out to be a big fat dud. It was still fun working with him. This is nice. Oh, Lennox again. Pooh Pantry Dessert Plates. Look at that. A rather heaping helping of honey pie. <laughs> this is really nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's another Disney thing. You know, I don't think I'm gonna open it. Pooh. One musical figurine. Sounds like a music box. We'll open that later. Mixed. Yeah. Empty. Empty box. It looked like a nice little box there. You know what we got here? Is looking like a book. In a book. Books. That's what I see here so far as books. What's this? Intensity 10. Oh. Let's grab my glove. Intensity 10. What is this? Oh, this is an electric pulse machine. I don't see the electrodes. Uh... Okay, where are they? Maybe they're in here. Self-adhering electrodes. They're not in here. Maybe they tossed them. This is good. I sold one of these just recently for some decent money. Like, what? how much was that? I forget. It was like over a hundred bucks. It was a good one though. I have one myself that I use like when my back starts getting really tight and I need to loosen it. And nothing seems to be working. Um, that's pretty cool. This old Walt Disney souvenir book. Uh, they, they really do work. When I used to go to the chiropractor for a short while there, uh, one of the chiropractors I went to would loosen me up with those things. Oh, this is nice. And uh, they work. The one I have is pretty weak, though. Oh, look at that. It's got a little Walt Disney stamp. I'm not sure what this is. It may just be a picture. Cheshire Cat. Wait, that's Cheshire Cat, right? Yeah. It is Alice in Wonderland. That's cool. That's a cool piece. Put that aside. I don't think it's worth anything, but we'll look it up anyways. The Judd's farewell tour. Oh, Kenny Rogers. These are like tour books. Oh my, what the heck is that, Ken? Come on. Have some dignity. All right. You know what? I, the Carpenters. Whoa. This is old. Look at that. Okay, you know what? These might actually have some value. Concert stuff is going up. Ringling Brothers, I don't think so. 1987. It's worth looking at. A bunch of junky books in here. Well, there's a couple of water filters. I don't think those are worth anything. All right. Yeah. Mm, 
we got a lot of bowls. Ooh, that's actually kind of a nice little bowl right there. Look at that. It's probably worth something. Signature housewares. Um, a lot of little glass bowls. These look like Pyrex yet. Wait, no. Pyrex wannabes. Yeah, decent stuff. There's an old Pyrex right there. That's nice. That's cool. Mm, you know what, Bill? We'll go through this at the flea market. Then, we got this. Look at this. Photo puppet replica is what it says. And I saw this up top. I was hoping this guy would be in there. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is beautiful. I've never seen anything like that before. Look at this guy. That is beautiful. I do like puppets, and I do like Kermit the Frog. This is... This is something. This is something special right here. Master replicas. Mm -hmm. The box looks like it's in absolutely nice condition with the exception of the dirt marks. This right here, scuff, scuff, scuff. I don't think that's a big deal. The front looks good. It's a little faded. I'm trying to um, get as much done as I can, but right now I'm going to stop and I'm going to scan this thing. I just got to know how much this is worth. I got to know. When I saw this thing sitting up on the top of the boxes in this locker, I had a feeling it might be something special. And when I opened it and looked inside and saw it, I knew it was something special. But guys, you're not going to believe how much this thing is. Crazy. I just looked it up on eBay. Two of them sold recently. One for $560 just a few days ago. And another one for $1,200. But the $1,200 one was in the original cardboard box. Like it had the outer box. $1,200. Perfect condition. Two of them. There's a whole bunch of them listed for like eight or nine hundred dollars. This is a great find. <laughs> the only bad news is, I'm looking at this guy. And I'm like, I would love to keep that guy. I think that a lot, but I I seldom keep anything. I'm not keeping this guy. He's got to go. Sorry, Kermit. You're worth too much. Great find. I was gonna take him out and uh, check him out a little bit closer. Maybe play with him a little bit, but this has never been open. Look at that, it's all taped down. All the original tape. Um, yeah, he's never been taken out of the box. So I'm not gonna mess with him, I'm not gonna take him out. Uh, just for my enjoyment. Uh, but yeah, but look at him up close here. He is super cool. It's like, um, I mean, I, I know it's translating to the video. But just looking at him with the naked eye here, it is like looking at Kermit the Frog. I mean, it's like, it's really nice. It's exceptional. It almost, it, it, it's almost like, I don't know, it almost like brings out emotions because this is like such an icon from my childhood. And looking at him right here, it's like looking at Kermit the Frog. It's very realistic. I don't even think it gets more realistic than this. It says photo replica, so... This is the documentation that comes with it. It says Master Replicas. And uh, assembly and handling instructions. Still all enclosed. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this part 5 of the Stacked on the Left series. Great locker. Uh, great items. It really was an exciting one. We wish all the lockers were like this. But they aren't. But this one was. And I hope you guys liked it. But this piece right here, I was kind of hinting in earlier videos that my favorite piece is to come, and this is definitely it. This is an exceptional piece, and we find a lot of really good items, a lot of unique stuff. Um, this is not unique, you know, but it is like, it's a rare piece. It is, and it's for collectors. But what I like about this, the Beauty and the Beast was an amazing piece. But this is like looking right at Kermit the Frog. And for us, this is our childhood. That's right. Growing up with Kermit. For a lot of you guys too, I know Kermit is a very special piece. Um, but when we're looking at him, I don't know how it translates through the camera, but with the naked eye, it's like looking at Kermit the Frog. It it's looks awesome. real. 
and it looks like he's gonna come alive and just start talking to you. It just kind of brings us back to being kids. It's it's one of those emotional pieces. Yeah, and the awesome thing is, is it's now up on our eBay store. So check it out. Um, we are by far the best priced um, for the condition it is, so it's cool. Um, if you want to look um, where our eBay store, the link is below in the description. So feel free to check that out. Also, we have our email in there, which is. Lockernuts at gmail.com. Lockernuts at gmail.com. So if you want to um, email us directly on this item or any other item, you can feel free to do that as well. But um, we definitely have some cool items up. We're getting ready to put some more cool items up. So please be patient with us. It's exciting, but a lot of work. And we're excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, and I know a lot of you have said that you're Winnie the Pooh collectors, mm -hmm. and we have several pieces still of Winnie the Pooh that came out of this locker that we have not yet listed on the eBay. So check out the eBay. There's a way to subscribe to the eBay just like you subscribe to our YouTube. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Hit that little bell button to be notified of new videos. When you subscribe to our eBay store, you'll get emailed a newsletter. I think it's weekly or monthly, I'm not really sure, but they do email out to people who subscribe to your store a little uh, newsletter that shows all the items that you've uh, recently listed. But um, yeah, check it out. I can't really tell you exactly how to do it, but I know you can do it. Um, but this piece will be there and other pieces to fall very soon, so you want to check it out if you like this sort of thing. All right, so awesome. um, thanks again for watching this series, uh, but it's not over yet. There is still another video. We more still have more to come. coming, and the next one's going to be really exciting because storm's coming. <gasps> storm is coming. Storm's coming. So um, thanks for watching this video. All right, until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on, on Locker Nuts. Locker Nuts.